and the founding member of the Stuart Lowe Trust, which was named after my son, Stuart. We run social activities, bringing people together for better health and well-being. The Stuart Lowe Trust was inspired by Stuart's experience of trying to get help with um, his symptoms of schizophrenia um, and he tried very hard but he couldn't find what he needed and in the end he committed suicide and we felt that the services that Stuart wanted to find still didn't exist and that one of the problems was that people who had um, mental health issues tended to be segregated away. Our first activity was Friday evening events. We've been running them every week, 52 weeks a year. Last year it was Christmas Day, this year it's Christmas Eve. There's always wholesome food to eat. Then we had the gardening program and holidays and outings, and the programme has just sort of grown. We're sitting in Culpeper Gardens at the moment, which is one of our focus projects, really, to get people together. We have a regular slot on a Thursday afternoon, either to help with the plot in terms of the gardening, or equally, just as a social gathering place. I've been quite ill for, for quite a long time, so I needed to get out and do things without people sort of questioning me or worrying about me. Every month they send us um, a leaflet of the activities for the next month. Everyone is welcome. It's a very inclusive group. It's really a focus and a meeting point for people to encourage people to do in a group what they would perhaps not otherwise do as individuals. Uh, we had one person coming on an outing who said that they hadn't been out of their flat for five years before they came on one of our outings. We also do run holidays, which are sort of longer outings, if you like, either uh, for three or four days, as we've done recently, up to uh, Suffolk. And also we charter a narrowboat, for both for day trips, two-day trips, or residential trips, which is extremely beneficial because all of these sort of holidays are those that involve people working together as a team. I've been on quite a few trips with the Stuart Lowe Trust. I went on a canal boat trip. It was fabulous. Everyone did some cooking and we had to do the locks. I'm feeling more confident now. I'm more physically fit. We want to involve more people in producing the services. We also have never attracted people in Stuart's um, age bracket and we'd like to develop a program that would attract more people in the 25 to 35 age group. We're starting to raise money and we've got some ideas about how we might get started on this. The important thing about the Stuart Lowe Trust is that we believe in being totally inclusive. In other words, there are no forms to fill in, no labels attached. The whole ethos is just come along. There are either no charges or the charges are very, very low. They can just come and go how they like and be valued for themselves. To be able to come to this, it makes the world a difference. It stops you worrying about things, in case you heard. Uh, we have people saying they were suicidal when they came, but now they feel a lot better. And this kind of thing, well, you can't say better than that, really. I'm very proud of what we've achieved so far and I'm very proud of the way people have stepped forward without our trying to cultivate volunteers. Initially, I thought that this was for other people because I was already supported and felt valued, but I've benefited hugely. I just didn't realise what I was missing. <laughs>